Joe Schwartz, uh, Montreal McGill University, and I direct uh, the university's Office for Science and Society, which is uh, mandated basically to demystify science for anyone who needs science demystified. Defining chemicals or chemistry is actually not that simple. You know, I've been in this business for 40 years, and you would think that, you know, you ask a chemist to define what a chemical is, it would be, you know, straightforward. It's not that straightforward, but, I mean, we can give it a little bit of a shot. Everything in the world is composed of some combination of the elements. Now, people have a rough idea what elements are. They know that these are the very fundamental building blocks of, of everything, of, of matter. They've heard of oxygen and iron and silicon. Each of these is a very specific atom. An atom of hydrogen is different from an atom of oxygen. When you take two atoms of hydrogen, join them to one of oxygen, you get a molecule. We call that H2O or water. So all matter is composed of some sort of combination of atoms. And these combinations are what we call chemicals. They're not good or bad. Chemicals have no morality. They have no thought processes. We humans do. So it's wrong to ask whether or not a chemical is toxic or not. No, chemicals are not safe or dangerous. They're safe or dangerous ways to use chemicals.